this if we would bring them to you rather than posting them publicly without giving me a chance to respond. And I would hope in the future that would be the way it would be handled, that you would be given an opportunity to respond before inviting comments were posted publicly. Other comments? Um, well, I would suggest that since Tom has uh, item E for his comments, that he go ahead and make them now. So that okay, fine. Uh, <clears throat> After review of my comments and questions, they are very specific as to the process, not the people involved, until my final paragraph when I suggest perhaps an investigation by the State Bureau of Investigation to put the question to rest if they are not answered. I clearly stated I make no allegation of wrongdoing or misappropriation. The only comment made in that entire piece which impugned anyone was when I wrote the two documents from which my information derived raised, and I quote, raised enough questions to be serious blunders and I emphasized by me uh, charged with oversight of the systems and others within the school system. There is, there was, and I've already said that to the extent that anyone feels like this was directed toward them, that's not the case. It's a process. And I think that, that the best thing that's happened is that, is that we have been able, as of last Friday, to sit down and hash out the process. And I think that, that it, it can't do anything better uh, then improve the entire school system. You're who you are, and I'm who I am. I'm a very direct person, blunt, abrupt, and uh, and I know that, and I try to control it. But uh, but there's nothing, there's not one adjective in here that I've used to describe the process that you need to take personally or anyone else needs to take personally. If they do, then I apologize for that. But but the process is what needs to be changed, and I think it has been. Or clarify. I would suggest that stating we are overdue for an investigation by the State Bureau of Investigation, that's a criminal agency. That's right. And if the if the questions weren't answered, uh, then that was that would that would have been the next step because there's there's money involved here. So that suggests that someone on this staff is committing a crime and if that's you, what you want to believe as a lawyer sign. That's not what was meant. Why would you bring a criminal Investigation. Investigation if there's no crime. I don't know that there was, at the time that, that those questions were asked, I didn't know that there was no crime. Well, I don't understand how you think you can suggest bringing a criminal investigation and then ask these people to think you didn't think anything bad about them. Well, that's your thought. Well, I, I heard a saying one time, perception is fact, Colonel Totten, and you may believe that this improved things and made things better, and you can write it off by saying you're just blunt and abrupt, but you know what? It does not improve anything. The perception that you created in a public forum is that there's something fishy, no, no. criminal. Use quotes. Um, yeah, use his quotes. You created the perception by your know, exact something words. Something is not quite cricket. Something is not quite cricket. Something is criminal. We are not prudent managers. A fast shuffle. How do we miss this? Way out of whack, unreliable. unreliable. A, a, a calls into question ability to manage projects. By your own words, you have created a very public perception that our staff members are engaging in this behavior, and finally, you topped it off with criminal behavior. And everything here has been explained by your own answers satisfactorily, with the exception of one, possibly two, which you didn't answer. You stated last meeting. If there you were in error, you would apologize. All you've given us, you have not given any unqualified apologies. You've said, you've, you've waffled and said, well, if someone thought that I meant this, then I'm sorry. That's not the issue. The issue is you misunderstood a great deal of information. And if you would have simply come to these people and got these answers, there would have been no posting. But what you did was put it all out there for the public. Now it's been explained here to a room full of people who even if they each tell ten people, it's not going to reach all those people on the bulletin board who read it, who are now thinking there's something fishy, corrupt, illegal, 
out of whack, not up to cricket, with our school system, and you did that to all of us. And I believe that requires a public apology in the same form that you made the accusations. Anyone else? Okay. I agree. I agree. I think an apology on the whole board is me. Okay. So, I, but as far as that, that, that doesn't make things better. It, it made things worse. It would have made things better if you had got answers and then we could have discussed it and not shared it with the public before you knew what was going on. But, on that happy note, what takes us to fundraisers? <laughs> I just did wonder if uh, you made requests of the finance manager from the county and you got an answer within a couple of hours. I know that that's a very busy person, but we are in the middle of trying to begin a new school year. And every person that's employed by the system in this room has a plate full of things that got to get accomplished before August 25th. It's not unreasonable to me, in my mind, that if you make a request, it's going to take some time because these folks are working very hard to make sure our things are done, our kids have places to go on August 25th. And to me, it was inconsiderate to make something that, look how much time we just spent tonight answering the questions. And that was information that took days to compile. So I think it was unreasonable to get upset because you didn't get an answer within three to five days. I thought it was very reasonable and very respectful of Dr. Logan, Mr. Logan, to say that I will get it. I present it to the board because if he's sharing information, it should be shared with all of us. Um, and that's all I have to say. It was necessary it was to be told that you know we're it, it'll take five days to get it to you. It, that didn't happen, but that's beyond now. He's already said seven days uh, would be a would be a window, and we can work with that. Uh, he even said that you would try to get it out in a more prompt way, and, and that's fine. I appreciate the fact that they were busy. When, when you ask three times, <coughs> excuse me, for something, it seems like it could be it could be provided, or at least a statement saying, uh, you know, you're not going to get it till uh, such and such a day. That eventually was said. So because you wait five days for one request, which was lottery funds, you go and make these nine allegations just because you didn't get an answer fast enough about Those something different? Those are questions, different? not allegations. Questions right, slash allegations. Here we're wanting the lottery um, allotments, and that's not what you addressed on the no, bulletin board. You went above and way beyond. beyond the, the still questions about if you questions. would have gone on the bulletin board and said, I made this request for the lottery information, and I haven't gotten it yet, that could have been valid. That was an ongoing, and they could have responded. But these, you know, you didn't even attempt to get answers to these things. And we, as Norman said, just spent all this time, not to mention all their time preparing for two weeks, to explain to you that you didn't understand what you were looking at. Uh, and basically something that I take for granted, that I'm not smart enough to understand her job, because this is extremely complex. And if I had a question, I'd ask her to explain it to me. I wouldn't make assumptions and then go put them on the bulletin board. And all this time has been spent pretty much to learn that lesson. So. Sorry for everyone having to sit through all that. Now, fundraisers. 